Lor Young is a subway station on Line 1, Young University, and Line 2, Lord Danforth, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is located in downtown Toronto, under the intersection of Young Street and Bloor Street. Nearby landmarks include the Toronto Reference Library, one of the three largest libraries in the city. It's also near the Hudson's Bay Centre, 2 Bloor Street West, and the newly constructed 1 Bloor, which opened in late 2017. Bloor and Young Station is ranked the number one busiest subway station in Toronto, with more than 400,000 riders are taken on an average weekday. In 1954, this station was opened to the public as one of the first TTC stations in Toronto. It was designed by Charles B. Dolphin. It was originally named Bloor and connected with a pair of enclosed platforms in the center of Bloor Street to allow interchange of Bloor streetcars within the fair paid zone. In 1966, the streetcars were replaced with the Bloor Danforth subway and as a result, the station began to be shown on maps as Bloor and Young. However, actual platform signs still show Bloor on the Young University line and Young on the Bloor Danforth line. Following a naming style common in New York subway station complexes, where only the platform cross street is shown on the platform signs. Similarly, the automated station announcement system installed from 2007 to 2008 refers to the station as Bloor on Line 1 and Young on Line 2, respectively. Arriving at Bloor, Bloor Station. Arriving at Young, Young Station. The new Toronto Rocket subway trains that operate on Line 1 refers to the station as Bloor Young along with change for line 2. Arriving at Bloor Young, Bloor Young Station, change here for line 2. It is the only TTC station named in this way. All other interchanges share the same name for both lines, including Shepherd Young. In the past, a small retail concourse along the corridor was used for the station which leaded from the entrance at the south side of Bloor Street. During the construction of the 33 Bloor Street East office building in the late 1980s, this concourse was closed and disappeared. As the years went by, Bloor Young started to have a major problem with congestion on the platforms. In 1992, the TTC had to expand the station by taking advantage of building construction over the Young University portion of the station to open it and widen the platforms. The original plan for the expansion was the Spanish solution. The Spanish solution is when trains can open the doors on both sides. The tracks would next have been slewed outwards within the widened station and a central platform built between them. However, the plans for a center platform never came to life. Lauren Young only has widened platforms to deal with congestion. The station became accessible with elevators in 1996 and is one of the TTC's first accessible stations. The TTC experimented with crowd control measures on the southbound platform of the Young University level. These measures allowed for improved passenger flow by discouraging crowding leading to the Bloor Danforth level. These measures also reduce times by a few seconds such that a few more trains can enter the station during rush hour without building additional capacity. As of today, these measures are permanent. A downtown relief line was proposed due to the overcrowding of the station led by increased ridership. The TTC took various crowd control measures during peak periods such as bringing empty trains to the station to clear the platform. Signal upgrades and other improvements on Line 1 have eased the station and the line of some crowding. However, these benefits will only last until 2031 according to a study conducted by Metrolinx. In March 2014, numbers referring to subway routes such as Line 1 for the Young Line and Line 2 for the Bloor Line were phased in on signs and maps 
At the station, they were later phased in on all TTC stations. All entrances are located near the intersection of Bloor and Young Streets. The main entrances, along with the fare collector booth and elevators, are located at the northeast side near the Hudson's Bay Center and at the southeast side near the Xerox building. There is also an unmanned automatic entrance at the northeast corner which leads to the Line 2 platform and is accessible only to Presto card holders. The routes that passes through the station is the 97 Young and Blue Knight routes, the 320 Young and the 300 Bloor Danforth when the station is closed.
Me too. <laughs> Attention, eastbound passengers. Your next train is now arriving. 
For your safety, please stand clear of the yellow line. Please allow passengers to take a straight before boarding. Next station is Sherburne. Sherburne.